keep their promises they made. you understand that this is not just a one-sided lackey. They're both lackeys. They're both, it's done. The parties are both done and over. These people, Republicans, Democrats, are all bought. And I'm telling you, the party is what you make it. The party is the people. The people are the party. If you want the party to be better, then you put better people in the party. That's I mean, we the need solution. normal people. We need normal, uh, average, uh, how do I say, average Joes, a daily middle class Americans. And I keep stressing this part. We need middle class Americans to be running this country. I don't need the top 1% elite who've been silver spoon fed all their life thinking they know what we need and thinking they know what's best for us. No, they have no clue what reality is. Well, right now it's the poli- it's the Republican Party holding. Well, it's not, I can't, it's that's, that's unfair. Party. That's unfair what I just said. It's 20 people in the Republican Party holding an entire nation hostage. It's, yep. both, it's both sides. If you don't see that it's both sides by now, I'm not going to wake you up and, and make you see. You have to see I'm, it. I'm going to say this, Streets. You know what? Six or seven years ago, I would agree with you. I would say that it's both sides equally, equally indoctrinating, equally, equally uh, digging their pockets, equally, equally sticking their hands in the cookie jar. But after I, what I've seen, after Obama, after Trump, I have to disagree with that. I have to say that I see more hate on one side than the other. I see more vitriol on one side than the other. And I see more discontent on one side than the other. I see more equal hate on both sides. That's what I see. I, see I don't very- see I don't see Democrats saying that certain people should be taken behind a church and unalived. But you, you so you don't pay attention to anything Maxine Waters has said. Maxine Waters has never given death threats. Never. Really? really? Never. No, that's not true. No, she yeah. hasn't. She I said, she has she said some questionable things. She told people not to, to leave uh, people in peace. She told people to be proactive, jobs. get in their face, make mm-hmm. noise. But she never, never promoted the violence that the former he- orange ass hat promoted on January 6th. And, and what did the former ass hat say? Because maybe I missed the part. I've never heard him say anything yet, and I'm still waiting for somebody to play. Oh, me. we're gonna go down there, and I'm gonna be down there with you. We're gonna go down to the to the Capitol building, and we're gonna go down. And if you don't show strength, if you don't show them, we're gonna lose it all. We're gonna lose our democracy. We got to go down there and show them all strength, and show them who we are, and we're gonna take back our country. We're gonna take back our country. He said, fight for your rights. Yes, he did say, fight for your fight. rights. Fight. Oh, fight for your rights. Right. No, okay. no, 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 no. Hold on. Hang on. Hang on. I will remind you guys what he said word by word. He said, if you don't fight like hell, you don't have a country anymore. Let's walk to the capital. This is what he said. And right. This is correct. A call for a, for a war, a call for violence, period. Correct, and he said he was going to be there with him. He said he was going to be there with them. Where did the orange ass go? But yeah. we've been using that term, we've been using that metaphor for years. Fight for your rights. Don't stop. Fight as hard as you uh, can. And, and Streets, did, wasn't he the one that said, I could go out on Fifth Avenue yep. and unalive somebody and I could get away with it? Yep, he sure yeah, did. I, I never, I looked that up so many times and I cannot find Oh my God. It. Oh, come, come on. Keep it I, come I just on. said, stop getting angry, everybody. I'm telling you. We're not angry. Not you just, I'm angry. not angry. I'm passionate. Yeah, very passionate. Are, are you this? Are you this blonde? Are you really that you haven't didn't see him say that? Are you serious? Because I'm gonna bring it up for you. Are you serious? Yes, please. You would be the first person to show me, please. Okay, like it, yes. give me a second. Thank you. I, I've never seen it yet. I, I missed it. I wasn't there that day. I don't know. I haven't seen it. I've heard this many of times. I'm not saying it's fake. I said I haven't heard it. That's all. I'm not saying it's fake. I said I haven't heard it. And I wouldn't put him past it because he's a New Yorker just like I am. And we're pompous idiots. Yeah, I, I just don't, I can't understand why you haven't seen that. I have not seen it. I even tried to Google search it. 
So smart. And you know what else they say about my people? The Poles. They say, I have the most loyal people. Did you ever see that? Where I could stand in the middle of Fifth Avenue and shoot somebody and I wouldn't lose any voters, okay? It's like incredible. Mm. No, they say, Trump, we love you too. <laughs> Trump. Yeah, I could stand in the middle of Yep, thank Fifth you. Avenue. I appreciate that. Oh, you're welcome. That yeah. Was, that was, yeah, that's horrible. That's dumb to say. I, I, Streets, I, have you yeah. ever been a just member to, of Trump? Just Broadway? to show you, Trump said see, a lot of. See that? Where I could stand in the middle of Fifth Avenue and shoot somebody and I wouldn't lose any voters, okay? Oh, well, he even stuck the hand up with the hand gesture. How about that? Everything. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's not. See? You know, no, that's an lose. intimidation. That's a call for a I violence. didn't lose great. I, I learned. I saw it now and I just thanked them for showing me. <laughs> So how is yeah. that a loss? If I said I didn't see it, I've always heard of it, but I've never seen it. And now I saw it and I just said, thank you. And I just said, that's fucking nuts. Okay, Jimmy. Yeah. Right no, that Pitter Patter, that wasn't taken out of context. He was saying, no, he was not, saying, I no have the best. That, what, that was, no what, that I'm answering context. Pitter Patter. She said, she asked if it was taken out of context. And I said, he was talking about his voters. And he said, I have the best voters. I have the most lo loyal fans. He said, I love them so much. I could walk out on Fifth Avenue and shoot somebody and I wouldn't lose any voters, okay? That's exactly and what he said. Gesture. And make a hand gesture. Yep. Yep. Give me one second. Yeah. Right What do you mean? I was a member. Yes, I never denied I wasn't a member. When did you stop? Uh, March exact date. I don't. I don't remember when I handed in everything and said, "Nope, I'm done." Because we were we had a, a strict uh, a strict thing about not going to the Capitol, January sixth, and twenty members went there without the approval of all the chapters. So we, we were supposed to be uh, kind of like the United States. It's individually ran, but we vote as a whole collective and we all voted. Nobody is to go there on January 6th because we knew what was gonna happen. And then people went there and now you damaged our name. Now I can no longer back an organization that has been damaged like that. Because you don't know, and I can understand from what you guys see on TV and are being told by the media, but they were, they are the most diverse group out there. They have everybody from Jewish people to Hindu to gay men, gay men even. In, and I have pictures with my gay brothers. The only requirement was to be a man. That's it. And, and, and anti-race, that is, that is in the bylaw. Anti-racism, that's why you have black, white, Mexican, Chinese all together. So I could see from what you guys see on the news why they would be hated but after that january 6th once it's tainted like that even though it was only 20 guys it's tainted forever and there's no coming i'm back. i'm i'm well, not you, well, i'm not really a hater away, i don't hate on people really, i just want to make things clear so i know where i stand that's all yep, so yeah, I, if you really I don't, I don't away, hate people. thank you for stepping away from that that group i had to step away because i didn't agree and and those guys went and they ruined the good thing that was going on because the more we were getting our word out there, they took down our website because the government didn't want everybody to see the diversity in the Proud Boys organization that they had. And but 20 guys, you know, one bad apple spoils a bunch. And also, uh, thank you for coming up here and knowing that you was going to get hammered. Hang oh, on, hang on, hammered. guys. Let me address this. You know, uh, bringing up bringing up the diversity of a hate group will not make that hate group uh, uh, an angel uh, a group of angels period but they want hate group. is a militia it's a hate group i don't care if there is hindus blacks whites yellow white anybody uh in, in any kind of religion they uh, you know they are there 
Okay. It is my understanding on this app that we give complete respect to the host. The host gets to decide who's in his live, and we give him complete autonomy over whether 100%. or not they're in his live. So we're not going to sit here and demonize anybody. We're going to let that. We're going to let it go. And if anybody doesn't like that, they're welcome to go ahead and leave if that's the case. Huh? I, I, love it. I, I already make it clear. I already make it clear. Yes, Rose. Thank you for that. The, for the for the respect. I appreciate that. So, uh, I know there is a friends friends of mine, my followers, guys. I, I never ever went. Let me say this: I never jumped on anybody's lives, and then I complain about somebody. I complained so uh, somebody or I told I give directions or order to anybody of you. My panel here uh, included the friends actually. So uh, so I will say this. I no, I, will, I have no right to ask or to tell anybody who to friend, who to uh, invite to uh, to the panel or to be guest or anything. I have no right to say that. I, uh, you can have your proud boys in your life. Uh, well, why? I will push. I will. I will push you to tell you why are you are you hanging out with the proud boys, or why are you hanging with white nationalists, or the grand wizard himself, or the Dixie Knight? <laughs> yeah, no, that, that, that's gone too far. No, 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 no. No grand wizards. I am just requesting. We I are know. adults. We are a bunch of adults. We need to stop acting like adults. Right, and that's, yes. that's what I found really Hang on, Chris. Hang on, buddy. Hang on. I'm not done yet. I so, don't want to lose my train of thought. I lose it quick. No, 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 no. Absolutely not. So, so for the friends, for the friends who... What's that? It's weapon to your... Weapon to your... I think Peter cut the comments off. No, um, no, no, I no, no, I no, never no. even. Um, Come on now. No, 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 Rebecca, no. no. I don't even how to comment. That's, that's Kim's decision. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. Everybody has the right to say what they want. And, yeah. and also, just keep Rose, it respectable. Rose, that day so, that, that they we want just We want just to start acting like adults. I yep. know. I know every every one of us has a past, has a past. So, streets, let me ask you again. Are you a member of the Proud Boys? No. No, you're not. Were, were you a member of the Proud Boys? Yes, I was in the past. Okay. Did you, did you participate in any kind of, in any kind of uh, march or rallies that Proud Boys did? No, we didn't have marches or rallies, no. You didn't? So no. you've been just a member. And then what made you quit in that group? Why? Why did you why did you left the Proud Boys? After January sixth. January sixth? You mean After the January sixth, twenty twenty one? Yeah, the January sixth riot where those people uh -huh, idiots, right. yeah, yeah, the, the, the where those idiot people where those idiot mm -hmm. people took down our American flag disgustingly and held up mm -hmm. a Trump flag. I find that terribly disrespectful as mm -hmm. as a fellow American. I don't mm -hmm. care if you're there to protest, by all means, but peacefully do it. I ride those people who did it just as hard as I ride BLM. As soon as it turns violent, you, you that's it. It's lost. Your cause is lost. Everything is lost okay. out the door. In my book, just in my book. Nobody has to feel the same way. I don't like violence. Okay. I don't have violence. protested anything. And protesting is our God-given right. No, but I'm saying, have you? As I what? Have you protested as a proud boy? No. No, he's what, not. He's not, madam. He's not. He's not. He's not, madam. Streets, why did you go to the Proud Boys? Why did you join them? So I was looking into all these groups, and I looked at the three percenters, and I looked at the Oath Keepers, and they were all closed door, very secretive. I said, well, mm -hmm. that's not a good thing, because if you're secretive and you're not open you know, to the public, people are naturally going to be scared of you. 
And then I looked at the Proud Boys and they had the big website up and I see all these different people and I and you could read their bylaws on there before they took it down. And I found my local chapter and I, hey, welcome in, you can come and sit down. And I, I listened and, and I would keep listening and I'd see the people going there and I'm like, oh wow, there's another guy, oh wow. And then I'm hearing their testimony and everybody talk and I'm seeing the diversity there. And I didn't even notice at the time that gay men uh, were allowed in. I didn't know that. And sure enough, the, the the two gay guys, they were a couple. They got they got up and they said, you know, we're proud boys and, and we're gay men and we're here. You know, same cause. We have the same belief in just defending America from the bed. And we're not and they don't back a political party. They don't openly back a political party. These guys have different political ideologies, too. Some are Democrats. Some are independents. Some are, you know, Republicans. You, you don't know. Nobody backs them openly. So, so how do you just and, and that was it. come across Let me the ask you a question. I've never seen an ad to join. Who's Snox? Who's Snox? What made you? What made you? What made you decide to join that street? Hold on, Jimmy. Because, I want to hear this about Snox. Because they oh, were open. Yeah. They were open about who they were. Mm. They didn't. Clo you know, they didn't have closed doors and they didn't have secrets and they were very open to the public. So at any time, like, let's say, Jimmy, you wanted to go down to a meeting, you can walk right in. Hey, I'm Jimmy. How you doing? Nice to meet you. And they'll tell you to have a seat. They don't hide nothing. There's nothing for them to hide because there's no secrets because they're not doing nothing wrong. But there had to have been something that the Proud Boy popped up on your... Uh, January 6th. January 6th. When we yeah, were it said January 6th. No, no, no. What I'm saying for you to be a part of it. You said you were searching, you seen the big web page. Something brought that up because it sure the hell ain't never come up on my internet. Oh, no, yeah, no, 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 no. You, you, you hear percent. about these groups. You hear about these groups, so I want to take a look and see what they're about, if they're good or bad. And I made my assessment of the Oath Keepers and the Three Percenters were very secretive, were very conspiracy theory guys, were very tinfoil hat wearing, you know, chewing on people. I'm, I'm not down with that. I'm not with this conspiracy theory stuff. And the Proud Boys, they were not like that. They were very open book. And then I typed in their name on the on the internet to look them up. And then they came up their website. And then I read through their website. I found my local chapter, and that's how I saw the venture. Is there something that you were? Is there something that was lacking um, for you to want to join? Nobody can hear what you're right. saying. That's not me. Who is it? I don't know. So they can sit there. Right next to the check. Rose, what's going on? Is it you? Oh, that's me playing a video. Of streets. We want of streets. Of streets. Yeah, speaking. Can't you recognize that voice? I'm just gonna keep oh. house you fucking piece of shit up to one day in the shady fucking Freaks, really? I can't hear it. That's all it's a bunch of bullshit. Wanna tear down America. Streets and who's this other person in this video? Let me look. Get a closer when, look. When was this video it's when rose? This was let me get a closer look. Uh, and yeah. I, I got my laptop. Can you look it up? And I also have this. getting a closer look here. Let me put it on top. Let me mute so I can get a closer look here. Hold on. Yeah, put it up on the screen, please. Let's see it. Streets, is that you talking like that? Started, I can't hear it. And rise. Started yeah, I couldn't hear. It. To be fair, I couldn't hear it either. I just heard a bunch of screeching. I hear it. I heard, I heard it too. Stuff, but I couldn't hear it. I could hear it. It's disappointing. It is. And upsetting. And and I stuck up for Rose the one day where they were trying to shame her because people told me 
stay away from Rose. She's a racist. Stay away from Rose. I said, I'm not going to stay away from anybody. I make my own judgment call, and she has not said nothing racist around me, so therefore I will talk to Rose. And I don't even agree with Rose's politics, but I'm not going to let somebody tell me to stay away from Rose. Well, can I ask you a question? Can you hear yes. me okay? What, what, was there anything going on in your life at the time that you joined? Was there something going on in your life personally that no. made you want to do this? No, I mean, I went through my midlife crisis when I was 40. <laughs> That's interesting. Well, usually 40-year-olds go buy Corvettes. <laughs> I did. I did. I went out and I bought a, a, a Camaro. <laughs> I got okay, here, here, here we go. Everybody okay. Knows. Rose, we can't hear it. You're on mute. Fucking crying rates of low life pieces of shit that don't want to be despise you. You fucking left. Talking about who exactly? Crazy imbecile motherfuckers. You brought out the hate. There you go. Fuck CRT. Fuck that bullshit. Now what are you going to do? Now what are you going to do? Fucking crying race of low life pieces of shit that don't want to get off their fucking ass and do a damn thing about it. Lazy motherfuckers want to cry about the past so they can sit there and take welfare checks. Yeah. Right? Right, Nimbus? Dad, report. I don't care. Got ten other counts to go, baby. I'm just gonna keep the house to you fucking pieces of shit, because for one day you just can't be fucking.